Hello and welcome to the Lucion video tutorial series. In this video we'll be going over the inbox and file center split view and how to move things around inside a file center. Now here we have the inbox tab open in file center and let's explain what an inbox is. It's actually a very simple concept. The inbox is simply a place where you can view files that need to be brought into file center. Let's give a couple of classic examples of that. The first is a network scanner. If you have a network scanner, you already know that the scanner usually saves the scans directly to file somewhere on the network. The inbox would let you view that folder where your network scanner puts the scans and bring those scans right into File Center. Another classic example that anyone would be familiar with is a digital camera. When you plug your camera into your computer, you can see a folder with all of those digital photos in it. File Center would let you view that folder right here in the inbox and then bring those files into a cabinet. Let's see both of those scenarios in action, starting first with the network scans. Now to view files in your inbox, all you need to do is open the folder that the files are in. To do that, we click the inbox button right here on the main toolbar. Now the folder I want to look at is out here on my S drive. This is my network drive, and in fact it's right here, network scans. I'm going to select that as a folder and click OK. And right away, the scans show up right here inside of the inbox. Now once I'm viewing my files inside of the inbox, how do I move them into File Center? And that's where the second button on the toolbar comes in, File Item. For example, I can select this first document right here, click File Item, and here I can browse to any location inside a File Center and deposit the item there. For example, I'm going to select the Jeff Adams folder, put it in the scans. I can now give this a more meaningful name. and click Save. And now I'm prompted whether I want to move the item or just copy it. I do want to move it. So I click OK and away goes the item. Now you're probably already thinking to yourself, how do I know what these items are? I mean this is very typical of a network scanner to get these very very cryptic names for your scans. Well File Center does give you your usual options. For example, we can come over here and change the display type to thumbnails or even enhanced thumbnails if you're using File Center Professional. And now we've got a much better idea of what these are. We've also got our file preview window which we can leave open and get a very good preview of each one of the documents. Now you may also be thinking, isn't it tedious to move these out one at a time? What if I have dozens or even hundreds of files in my inbox? Well the answer there is you can move more than one file at once. For example, if I hold down the control key as I click on the files, I can select multiple files. You can also select a range of files by clicking the first file in the range, hold down your shift key, and click the second file in the range, and it will select every file in between. And at that point, you can go ahead and file those away. And away they go. Now there's a second way to move files out of the inbox into File Center, and that's using the split view. Let's demonstrate that by taking a look at files that are on a digital camera. Now to open my digital camera in the inbox, I do just as I did before. I click the inbox button and browse out to my digital camera, which shows up here as the E drive. Now sometimes cameras will show up as their own node here in the tree. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and select that and digital photos usually show up in a DCIM folder and often in a subfolder under there. Uh, you should be familiar with what your camera does. In my case, the photos are just in the DCIM folder, so I'm going to select that and say OK. Now to file away these photos, I'm going to use the split view, which shows your inbox on the top and your cabinets down below. And what the split view does is it enables you to move things down from the inbox directly into a filing cabinet. Now for these photos, I want to put these into my personal cabinet where I have it a digital photos drawer and uh, I'm going to make a folder to put these in. Now one of the neat tricks of the split view is that I can rename files as I move them down, even if I'm moving files in bulk. That's accomplished with this center bar right here. You'll notice we've got this field this field is intended to accept a file name. Now if I use naming options, and you will want to check out the naming options tutorial, I can use a naming option to rename files as they're moved down. I can also type a name 
in this field. And that's what I'm going to do now. Since all of these photos relate to one event, I'm going to move them all at once and rename them all at once. First, I'm going to type in the name that I want to use. Next, I'm going to select the photos that I want to move. And in this case, it's going to be all of them. So I'm going to click Control A, and that selects all of the files. Next, I need to notice my action right here. My action could be Move or Copy. I'm going to move these as I drag and drop them. Now I'm just going to grab a file, pull them down, and when I let go, I get a confirmation, and all the files get moved from the top down to the bottom and renamed at the same time. In fact, let's go down here and take a look, and there we go. Each of the files now has a name with an increment based on the name that I provided in that field right there. Now let's switch over to the cabinet view just to see what was done. As I go into my digital photos folder, there it is. There's the folder that I created, and there are all of those images that I just dropped into this cabinet. Now you should know that the split view is also available inside of your cabinets. I can turn on my split view and view two cabinets at the same time. Now that's useful for moving things around between cabinets, just as we saw. It's also useful if you just want to have two different cabinet locations open at the same time. To close the split view, we use this X right over here on the right hand side. The next thing that you should know is that there's also a button here in your manage view that lets you move items easily between cabinets. Now while you can always drag and drop things around, you can also just select an item and there's a move item button up here on the main toolbar. You can use this to move files, you can use it to move multiple files, or even folders. And once you click Move Item, just as expected, you're prompted to select a cabinet, drawer, and folder where you'd like that file to go. Now, going back to our inbox, we want to show you one more thing. Let's select the Inbox tab up here on the main toolbar. We'll close the split view now that we're not using it. Now, if you recall, previously we grabbed some files from our network scanner. How do I go back to there again? Now I could browse back, but we want you to notice that there is a drop arrow under the Inbox button. And this remembers all the locations you've been to recently. So I can come here and quickly reselect my Network Scans folder, and I'm right back there again. And you're probably going to have a few locations that you regularly receive files from. This is a very nice way to quickly jump to those locations and bring in those files to File Center. So while File Center fully supports drag and drop, for example, you can grab files from your desktop or anywhere and drag them into File Center. You can drag files and folders and drawers around between cabinets inside of File Center. There are also some very handy tools here to help you move things around and stay as organized as possible.